LabVIEW and NXT, Part 5, The Ultrasonic Sensor. We've seen that we have different sets of VIs for the robot. We have the new ones, the new style. Here is the read ultrasonic sensor. It will give us a distance out. It works kind of like echolocation from a bat. So if you like the style of new block, you can use these new blocks to write your ultrasonic program, or program that uses the ultrasonic sensor. This time I'm going to try using the native I.O. Sometimes I like to use the new style, sometimes I like to use the old style. But I find that I have problems, the programs don't work quite well, if I mix them. So you need to decide which way you like better, and stick with that way. So, first I want my motors to drive, and then I want them to stop. And in between, I'll know when to make the motor stop when I check my input from the ultrasonic sensor. So first I'm going to tell the motors to drive. Then I'm going to check my ultrasonic sensor to see how far away objects are from me. And I'm going to do this over and over inside of a while loop. And then eventually when I make the decision I'm going to tell my motors to stop. I'm just giving my move motor block here the information to make the motors drive. I'm going to have it drive a little bit slower since it's going to be looking for objects with the ultrasonic sensor. And I'm actually going to have it spinning around, steering, spinning around, looking for uh, an object that's close enough. And I wired all the same information to the stop block. Alright, now let's work on the ultrasonic sensor in the while loop. We haven't told the while loop how or when to stop. It's probably going to have to do with the distance coming out of the ultrasonic sensor. So let's create some constants. My ultrasonic sensor is going to be on port 1. It can be on any port you want, just make sure that it matches on your robot to the program. You can choose centimeters or inches, whatever you want to measure in. Now, here comes the important part. I want to do something with the distance so that I can tell the while loop to stop. I want to compare the distance to some number and decide if I want to stop. So I'm going to the comparison palette and I want to stop if the distance is less than 12 centimeters. And I'm going to wire that to the while loop. So if the distance is 10 centimeters, that's less than 12. That's true. The while loop will stop. And then we'll go to the stop motors block. Let's test out this program and see how it works. You have to be careful. If you put your hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor, it can sometimes see your hand. So if it doesn't work sometimes just be careful maybe it's seeing your hand so it's turning sees the cup stops let's try it again turns sees the cup stops with a couple quick changes to the program we can use this program to keep the robot from falling off the table, change the less than to greater than so that the light, the ultrasonic sensor will check for distances greater than 12 centimeters. So long distances will mean that the ultrasonic sensor is pointing off the table. 
We can also make the motors drive straight, not turn. So it's going to drive straight for the edge and stop when it sees that it's poking over the edge.